Hey guys, Christina here with Best Paw Forward Training and I had gotten a client question yesterday about using Dremels on dog nails, uh, which I use a Dremel on all of our dog's nails. So I thought I would shoot just a quick video for you today and kind of show you how to do that. Um, Y'all know Stella. Her nails aren't going to be very long because I, I do everybody's nails in one big swoop about once a month. Um, for you, if your dog is really uncomfortable with their nails being done, um, my suggestion is do one paw, make it super positive, give them treats, be really nice, maybe have a helper, um, just so it's as less stressful as possible. Um, our dog Seiko, he'll be 10 this year, and he must have had some horrible grooming experience because he will scream bloody murder and so my mom and I she was a vet tech for a long time and so um I have to have her help me with him but everyone else I can do on my own um so you know other things you can do to get them more comfortable with it is just practice holding their paw gently I say gently because their paws are sensitive even though it seems like you know their pads are really callous um but they are sensitive so don't apply a lot of pressure when you're doing this. Just gently hold it. Good girl. And then you can give them a treat and they let you hold it. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. And Stella is fairly used to it because I also do shave her paw hair because it gets kind of uncontrollable. But anyway, let's add the Dremel. So what I do personally is I don't just use the Dremel. I trim them with... Um, regular nail trimmers first, and then I go in and dremel the rough edges off. So for her, almost done. I have to move the hair back a little, and then I just take, hey, it's okay. I just take the tips off. Hey, I know. So you see, she's like, what are we doing? We just did this. We just did all this. I know we did stuff. I know. Good puppy. So I'm just taking the tips off now because that's the length of her her nails. Also, don't forget if your dog has a dew claw, check on those dew claws. They will grow around and not be good. Um, for her, I have to kind of move her hair back a little, which adds a little extra fidgeting with her foot that she doesn't like. Um, but if you have a short-haired dog, you wouldn't necessarily have to do that. Um, okay, so now you come closer and I'll, do the, I'll show the Dremel, okay? So after I've trimmed it, what I do is so I'm kind of right okay. Sorry about the camera angle. Natalie's our photographer today. Hey so girl. there's two settings on the Dremel. I usually start with the lower one and then you can move to the higher one. And all I do is I just go around the edge. So maybe try and do up over me so you can really see. Do a little bit of the edge here. Nothing fancy. It just keeps it from being really um, rough, okay? So you can kind of see, or you might be able to see, if she'll let us, the difference. So now this one's nice and smooth. And I always do this to check and make sure it's smooth. So these ones, you can see, kind of have rough edges on them now from the clipping. But that one's really smooth. So that's what I do, is I just turn my Dremel on. And... Uh, yeah, I just, I just dremel them like that. There it goes. <laughs> I know, it's no fun. We just did it. So yeah, you can see again. I just kind of do the edge there. Um, I do it from the bottom up. Around the side there. And then it just gives you a nice, a nice little polished edge. So that's, that's what they kind of look like when you're done. All right. If you have any more questions, please feel free. Okay. I'm going to let you go. Okay, go ahead. Um, please feel free to you know put them in the comments or message me your questions. Um, it's a pretty straightforward process. Like I said, if you have a dog that really, really struggles, I would just do like one paw maybe in the morning. And then you can try a second paw in the evening, and then maybe the next day tackle the other two. Um, it can definitely be a marathon. It doesn't have to be a sprint. I know a lot of people out there will disagree with me, and they'll say, well, just, just hold them down and make them do it. 
Um, but that's not really my style. I like to actually make it so eventually they'll learn that it's not the end of the world. Um, but like I said, their feet are just really, really sensitive. So a lot of times that's more of it than anything is you holding their paw. So really practice holding their paw, rewarding them for them not struggling. And um, eventually, yeah, you'll get dogs that you can trim by yourself. All right, guys, have a good day. Bye.